In today's gospel passage, Jesus says, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. With these words, Jesus is referring to the past and the future, and also his message is relevant to us right today in the present. So the past Jesus was referring to was the time when the Israelites were wandering the desert after God had freed them from Egyptian oppression, and there the Israelites started complaining. And as they complained, God sent serpents, fiery serpents that bit those who were complaining, who were being ungrateful, and many people died. So God told Moses to make a serpent of bronze and mount it on a pole. And all those who had been bitten by these fiery serpents, if they looked at that mounted serpent mounted on a pole, they would be healed from that venom of the serpent that had gone into their veins. That is the past that Jesus is referring to. The future was when he will look like a serpent nailed to the cross as the Son of God, as the crucified one, who, similarly to the serpent, will heal us, will take away the wounds, the venom that is a result of sin when we start entering to sin. How is this all relevant to today? Well, we are, similar to the Israelites, we are away from our true homeland. Where is our true homeland? Our true homeland is the heavenly homeland. And as we are pilgrims on this earth, we at times may become discouraged. We may enter into criticism that is not destructive. We may also discourage our brothers and sisters and become overly critical about them. And what are we to do? Take a step back, pray, ask the Holy Spirit for discernment so that we know how to distinguish between constructive criticism and destructive criticism. And also encourage a spirit of encouraging our brothers and sisters, lifting their spirits up, praising the Lord, praising what they, how they good they are and their potential good and encouraging that potential good to become an act to flourish and also to be a people of praise, praise, worship, encouragement, and gratitude. So when I feel oppressed, when we feel oppressed and sometimes even a little depressed and have a desire to unnecessarily criticize and complain, may we look to Jesus on the cross who Jesus says and identifies himself as the Son of Man. Notice he says the Son of Man and not just a Son of Man, because he's different from all other sons of men. How? Well, if we look to Daniel chapter 7, and that is what Jesus is referring to, Daniel has this prophecy that someone, a divine figure, looking like a Son of Man, will descend from the heavenly realms on clouds, indicating that this individual that looks like a son of man is also from that heavenly realm, is both in a mysterious way divine and human. And Jesus fulfills that because he is divine and human. He has a fully human nature, and he is also fully God in his one divine person. So Jesus is not just a son of man. He is the son of man, our Savior, and our Savior who Ask us to look to him when we feel discouraged so that he can lift up our spirits. When we gaze upon Jesus, the Son of Man, crucified on the cross and ask for healing, may we remember Jesus' words from today's gospel, that God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The image of Jesus crucified on the cross is not a sign of condemnation, but rather, as St. Paul clearly states in today's second reading, is a sign that God is rich in mercy. And if we allow Jesus to embrace us from the cross, we will be taken up into Jesus' paschal mystery, where with Jesus, in Jesus, we will pass through his passion, resurrection, and ascension into heaven, our true heavenly homeland. God bless. Thank you.